I didn't buy the Jordans. I know, I know I had the money there. I, I should have bought the shoes that we've been working towards over the past couple months. But around the time I edited last video, I saw through Instagram and YouTube, a lot of the people that do like Nike clearance reselling, posting a lot of the finds that were coming through the Nike outlets. And one pair uh, kind of caught my eye. I remember seeing it as it released, but as I think I've mentioned in the series before, I've never really been someone who spends a ton of money on shoes just because I'm, I don't know, I'm just kind of practical. And even right now, now that I am working towards the origin story Jordan 1s, which is an $800 pair of shoes, and I technically have the money for it right now in the sneaker budget, I still feel like it is a expensive pair of shoes. It's a huge expense. It still seems uh, like an irrational amount of money to spend on a pair of shoes. And I've always felt that way. But there's a pair of shoes that I didn't buy upon release for the reason that I just mentioned, but they made their way into the Nike outlet stores and I've noticed that a few stores even have them on sale well under retail. So I figured we'd hold out one more episode, we'd go hit a few thrift stores, try to build the budget up even higher, and while we're out, pop into a few Nike stores to see if we can find the pair of shoes that I'm searching for. I'm not gonna spoil it right now, you're gonna have to watch to the end of the video to see if we actually find it. And if this is your first time catching this series or your first time stumbling across my channel, basically in this series what we're doing is going going to mainly thrift stores, trying to find some underpriced sneakers that we can resell online and use that profit to fund a sneaker collection, starting with, as I mentioned, the origin story Jordan 1s. We finished up last episode with a little over $1,000 in the sneaker budget. So what we're doing today is A, looking for a pair of shoes to add to the collection, and B, looking for some profitable shoes that we can continue growing our fund with. Now, this idea definitely is not my own. I've gotten the idea for a collection series from a few other of my favorite YouTubers, Seth Fowler, Retro Rick, and Phoenix Resell all have collection series that I'll link down in the description. Seth Fowler has a couple seasons of basically what we're doing exactly right here with shoes, building up a sneaker collection. So definitely go check that out. But with that being said, let's hop into some thrift stores. Yeah, no cart confidence for me either. <laughs> $15, these leather Uggs. I feel like that's a pretty good find. Adirondack, I think the model is. It's Nike Golf, 16 is probably too much for that model. What we got here, some more high top Kohans. I think these are the ones I heard last time. 25 is too much. Some red, white, and blue Converse for 16. We actually flipped that, episode, episode one or two, one of the first sales of the series but we did not pay $16 for them. Um, looks like, looks like just the Uggs to start. Got some uh, Nike Shox Gravities, but they are $25, a women's size prop, not worth it. Got a pair of Nike Air Monarchs, 20 bucks. Goodwill always prices this model shoes up. I don't understand. What do I see here? KW Shoes, <laughs> Kamado Tanjiro. <laughs> it's just some knockoff, uh, knockoff Jordans. Interesting, $12.99. Still pretty sick though. They're very cheaply made, but the design was there. Got some Future Lows, $25. They're in really good condition. They are a 5Y. It's not a great size. These Nike boots. 20 bucks, probably. It looks like it's like a men's six or men's seven, so probably not that size. All right, definitely a quick stop. Only grabbed the uh, Adirondacks. Only paid $7.50. We had a, uh, a little loyalty coupon to use. So um, that's uh, that's the Uggs for the day. That's, that's Goodwill. Let's hop into the Nike outlet. Just drove here in an absolute downpour, but decided to uh, kind of clear up right as we got here. But uh, we're starting off with the Nike clearance store. Um, you ever had any luck here? What's the oh, best thing you found here? A uh, pair of limited edition soccer cleats that I sold for $400. And I paid 60 bucks for them. And I found a penny that's heads up. It's gonna be a great day. <laughs> it's gonna be a great day, let's go. Um, hopefully we find some $400 soccer cleats, that would be nice. Um, if I find the shoes that I'm looking for at this store, I'm not buying them because I want the complete box and this store is basically just one big hash wall, so. Uh, let's see what we can do. What's up? I don't see a discount. I don't think there is one here today. I'm gonna check my size first. 
Ten and a half. Let's see what they got. Oh, these are the, the golf shoes that they have so many of. Uh, unfortunately, they're 150. And here's the uh, Ambush. Are these Ambush uh, Air Force Ones? These are pretty sick. If I can get this out of here. That box just completely destroyed. All right. It looks like this one's uh, not going to show you guys, but there you go. Ambush Air Force Ones. Cool to see. What size were they? 10. A little small. You got some 11 golf shoes for $100. Again, I don't think there's a discount today. There's a pair of uh, Nike Blazer Low Sakai's in a 10 and a half with this brown and red colorway. I'm $100, not a bad price for these, that's crazy. Um, I really like this colorway. If this was a complete box, I'd think about it for the collection, but only looking for stuff to resell right now. You got some Baber Max 2021's, $100. You got your Zoom Street Flies, 80 bucks. You got some laser mid premiums. I don't know what this colorway is. Kind of looks like spray painted up. It was only $25. Like that seems like a pretty good deal. They got a couple pairs of them. 25 bucks for blazers. Let's see what size we got. We got a 10 and a half. Are they both 10 and a half? There we go. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna think about this one. Music got a little loud in these sections, but there was a few pairs that were nice to see at the outlet, but I passed on like these Dunk Highs for $100. Pretty cool colorway, but in women's just really wasn't worth grabbing. And then same situation with these Jordan 1 Mid Crafts. I think these were $110. And that's really about what they're selling for on eBay, even brand new with box. And there was these Jordan 2s. I can't remember what the collab was. It was some artist, but uh, they're 100 bucks, not worth grabbing. All right, definitely left the clearance store empty handed. I wasn't really expecting much there. This is like the store that the resellers live at. So um, it's, it's kind of tough to go through, especially for, you know, someone that hasn't been here in forever. So uh, we're probably gonna go to a few Nike stores. They still have the clearance racks in the back of those stores. So we might find some good stuff there, but. That's the plan. So far, nothing. We're right across the street. Couldn't really help ourselves. Make it quick. Some New Balance 501s for 13. These are pretty clean. I like the colorway. Some Allen Edmonds Margate. Kind of rough condition. And 16 bucks, probably. Probably gonna have to pass on those. Saucony, I think these are like shadow somethings for 14. This color is pretty sick. Men's nine and a half. That's probably probably a car. Some waffle ones, I think waffle ones. Oof, they are pretty worn on the bottom. 13 bucks, but yeah, without wear, I'm gonna have to leave them. I just saw these Air Force ones over here too. 15. I think they're they're probably a grade school size. Let me check the tag. Oh no, they're a women's seven and a half. Uh, 14, heel drag, uh, probably not, probably not. <laughs> These are so cute, six bucks, Nike court forces probably. Probably not worth reselling though. What are those? What are those? $20. I wanted to look them up. Would you pick these up with a little bit there? Anyways. How much are they? Ten. Where's the rep? Let me see. I'll let you have those. I already have a pair of this. It's actually That's not And some CrossFit Nano, nine. like, ones. Nine bucks? Yeah. That's for you if you want. And then those clothes are pretty clean for 13. Sure they are. Nice. And she's, like, doing restocks, like, I while. Just put them up. <laughs> um, these Saucony Shadows. See those Supers? Shadow 5000. Yeah, go check them out. What's wrong with them? <laughs> They're dry rotten. These might be too. And just some new balance. Echo. These are Echo? Interesting. It's a new one for me. All right, she uh, she restocked a little bit. Found another pair of those uh, New Balance 501s, this time in pink, same model. Um, and then two pairs of these Nike Epic Reacts. Both of these are only $10. And they are, I believe, both a women's size seven and a half so solid size nice color um now we got to figure out once again how to split this up all right odds are probably fake but we got some 50 dollar christian Louboutins. 
Um, did you look at, I, this isn't looking great. Did you look at these? <laughs> <laughs> They're real, dude. All, all yours. All right, Chris was kind enough to uh, let me have the three that I was interested in. He took the other four, I think. Paid 35 44 Two pairs of Nike Reacts and those Clo Clove nursing shoes. So, uh, quick little Goodwill stop was pretty good. Now I think we're headed to another Nike. This one's got two pairs of the uh, Blazer Low Sakai's full size run. I'm kind of liking these for 99 We have, maybe, these are all nines. They got a 10 and a half. That one might be a grab. I still like this color, but I feel like this one's more practical. We've got two colors of the Ambush Air Force Ones, and then all three colorways of the undefeated Air Force Ones. I, I'm not a big patent leather guy, so these are not for me, but still pretty cool. The, um, the entire back wall is 30% off, so maybe we'll find something back here. I do really like these uh, Sakai waffles. This colorway is clean. Got the burgundy and black. I just feel like the uh, the blazers are nicer. I feel like I'd wear those more often. And plus, these are full retail, 170, no discount. Really leaning towards a pair of blazers. Not gonna lie to you. No man, both of these colorways are clean. I just feel like, man, I don't know. I'm torn. Because I don't really have any shoes that are brown. I feel like a nice brown pair of shoes would uh, would be nice in the collection. But I mean, black is just it goes with everything. Get some Air Force Ones, eighty. That's not bad. Oh, these are refurbished too. They are a little used. Not terribly used, but definitely used. You having fun? No. Okay, I need your opinion on something. I have four different pairs. They got the uh, waffles and they got two pairs of blazers. I want to know what your favorite ones are. Okay. You got these. These brown blazers. And the black blazers. Ooh. What do you think? What are we You're thinking? One of the four? Yeah, these. Okay, so the reason I'm leaning more towards a pair of these is because these are full retail at $170 and these are $99. Um, are you gonna like be able to match that though? That's that's the thing. That's a difficult. That's a difficult prospect. test. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards the black ones too. I think that's gonna be it. The black ones are the one. That's the one. All right, store number what is this three on the day? Let's see what we can find. Still a pair that I'm hoping that they have at one of these stores. I'm gonna let the suspense continue to build though. Yo, oh, they had another color at this one. This is this is what I'm looking for. These are the shoes that we're hunting for. We've got the Cause XX right there. Oh, and they're on sale. 115. There we go. They got the 10 and a half. Oh man, these are so clean. 15 and a half. Definitely copping this. Definitely grabbing. Oh. Yeah, these are hideous, but they have so heavy. So many. You see this? So many of these off white. These are Air Force One mids, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so ugly. But could rock it. I mean they're still cool to see at the outlet. Still <laughs> <laughs> Also got those off-white Air Force Ones in black. It's pretty cool. They are 185 in a giant box. So 185, 30% off. And the women's, they got a ton of these. Like what is this? Wheat? Vachette tan tongue guys. Pretty nice colorway, but they are 109 plus the 30% off, so like 80 bucks. Not bad price. Probably a little over what they're going for on eBay to be honest. Uh, they got a few pairs of these Nike Day Breaks, 34.97, so it's like 25 after the discount. I think it's worth looking up. I offered them to Chris, but he's he's over it. There's a reason he offered them to me. <laughs> Today was definitely a huge success. We didn't find a ton in terms of like resell value to add to the sneaker fund, but we definitely found the pair of shoes that I was hoping to find at the Nike outlets, the Cause Sakai Blazer Lows. Now, first off, I, I love the box design on these. The other Sakai Blazers just came in some like standard orange boxes, but the I love how they, they have the Sakai on top with the Cause Xs over the Sakai. Uh, but for those of you guys that don't care about the box, the shoes, I don't think I've ever mentioned this 
on the channel, but my favorite color is actually purple. So this is actually a, a fun addition to the collection. They are gonna be kind of hard to style. I'm not gonna lie to you guys because they are kind of out there, but that's the whole point of the sneaker collection. We're getting we're getting shoes that you don't see every day. It's a collection, right? So here's a good look. I don't know if the uh, the white is going to over expose on the camera, but here's a good look at the Sakai uh, Cause Blazer Lows. I think wearing this with like a yellow shirt since it's got the yellow laces and that yellow tongue um, would actually look pretty nice. So picked up these Sakai Blazer Lows. We also picked up the pair in black as you saw, but I figured if I was adding a pair of Sakai blazers to the collection, it wouldn't make much sense to add two of basically the same silhouette this early in the collection. So went ahead and actually returned the black pair to the Nike outlet. So we're adding the $106.49 that we spent on those back into the collection because surprisingly there wasn't much resale value on them even at the price we paid. I think that the black pair was only like right around $100 even, uh, which is surprising for what they were. It's, it's definitely shocking to see how much the, these shoes have gone down in value, but I still got a really good deal on the uh, the cause that I picked up. It was actually my birthday month when we were out shopping, so I had a 10% coupon to use on top of it. So I don't know if you can see that there, but I ended up paying just right over $103 for them. So they were already on sale for 114, took the 10% off. I think that's a really good deal. A great pair of shoes to add to the sneaker collection this early. Again, we're going a little out of order, but we're working our way up to those origin story Jordan ones. And then as for the uh, the resellable shoes that we found at the Nike outlet, it, was, it wasn't a complete bust, but it definitely wasn't the greatest uh, sourcing trip to the Nike outlets. Only picked up one pair of shoes. Uh, we got, this is another one that I think is gonna be way overexposed in the camera, uh, but these Nike D brakes, I got them in two sizes, a women's size eight and a half and a women's size nine. And these were $35 on the rack. There was 30% discount on top of that plus I had that 10% coupon to use. So these came down to $22.02 for brand new Nikes. Uh, that's an absolute steal. And we actually sold a pair of them already. I still have the eight and a halfs, but I sold the women's size nine and those sold on eBay for $63.42. So after shipping and fees, profited just at $20, which is a great profit margin in my eyes for a pair of shoes that uh, didn't need cleaning, just basically need to take pictures and get listed and they sold really quick. So a $20 profit, that's pretty much what I look for in my normal reselling business is an average sale price that profits me $20 per sale. But with that being said, we haven't talked about our sales that have rolled in over the past week or so. So other than the Nike D breaks that we picked up in this episode, we're going to kick it off with the best sell of the week. If you caught last episode when we went to Plato's Closet to potentially add the New Balance 9060s to the collection, I told you guys I wasn't really feeling them. I decided I was going to go ahead and sell them. We paid like $47 for those and they ended up selling for $152.75 over on eBay. And I do want to clear something up because there is a little confusion with what I'm saying things sell for. And when I say an eBay sales price, uh, that's factoring in shipping and taxes and all that into the sale price. So eBay's sale price is gonna be a little inflated versus say Poshmark and Mercari, just because they, they work a little different. So if I say something sells for $39 on Poshmark, like we sold the Nike Experience 14s, those sold for $39 on Poshmark. The buyer pays the shipping on top of that. And then I'm only subtracting fees when we talk about how much I'm adding into the sneaker fund later. But with the eBay sales, I have to take both shipping and eBay eBay's fees and the seller or the buyer's taxes out of that, but I'm calculating all that into the fees. So what I'm adding into my sneaker fund is accurate. It's just when I'm telling you guys what things are selling for, some of the eBay sales might seem a little inflated. But with that being said, we also had several other sales roll in. The Animal Crossing Pumas. I've sold these things I think three or four times and the buyers haven't paid, but we finally had a buyer pay. We sold those for $72.51 over on eBay. We sold another pair of the Ufos. The camo ones went for $70.75. We finally sold the toddler Air Force Ones back in the video where we found the Nike Dunks at Goodwill. Those sold for $30 even on Poshmark. We actually already sold the UGG Adirondacks that we found in the beginning of today's video. Very surprising how fast those sold considering it's the middle of summer and they are winter boots, but those went for $63. Definitely uh, a lower end 
price. I think I listed them at $99, but when I got a $63 offer on a pair of shoes that I paid $750 for in the middle of summer, considering their winter boots, I definitely accepted that. So those went for $63 on Poshmark. I sold the Nike Air Max 90s that we got from the bins, the last pair uh, from our bins haul last video. Everything from that haul already sold. The Air Max 90s went for $29 plus shipping on Mercari. And then our last sale of the week, the blue Cole Hans that we got from Burlington for right around $30. Those sold for $68.20. And then adding all of our gross sales together, over the past week, we've done $588.69 in sales. But on that, like I mentioned, we had to pay shipping and fees. The total for the shipping and fees was $175.54, leaving us with $431.15 to add into the sneaker fund. So even with us adding a brand new pair of shoes to the sneaker collection, we are still up $200 in the sneaker fund over the beginning of today's video. And honestly, I've been talking about the origin story Jordan 1s for seven episodes now. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of keeping you guys waiting. I think, I think it's time. Hey guys, real quick before we end this video, I wanted to mention I started a reseller Discord. It's 100% free. I'm linking it down in the description. You don't have to be a shoe seller. You mean everything seller, toy seller, video game seller, whatever it is. It's just a nice place to make community with people that do things like we do. There's tons of channels, sharing strategies, a safe place for gripes because I know there's some things that we want to uh, get off our chest sometimes as resellers. A place to share wins, a place to share bolos, all sorts of cool things. I'm adding new features every single day. Day. Um, again, it's 100% free. I'd love to see you guys in the Discord. So again, that's down in the description below. And if the next episode of Into the Sneakerverse has been released, I'll put the thumbnail to it right here. If not, it's another video I'm sure you'll enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video.